Hey Nathan, it's Friday, August 16th. Today's video comes in two parts. First, I'll talk about an interesting scientific discovery, and then I'll perform my punishment. A new species has been discovered, or rather, distinguished. The Olinguito, a cute and fuzzy member of the raccoon family, was pronounced a species of its own yesterday after previously being confused with the Olingo for at least a century. Olingo live in the rainforests of Central and South America at elevations ranging from sea level to 2,000 meters. Olinguitos are smaller and furrier than Olingos and have a shorter tail and smaller ears. They typically live at higher elevations than the Olingos as well. They're usually found in the regions of Colombia and Ecuador and occupy rainforests in the Andes at 1500 to 2750 meters above sea level. Now, what's really interesting and what has the media all abuzz about this new discovery is how long the Olinguito has been mistaken for the Olingo. Over 20 specimens have resided in U.S. museums mislabeled as Olingos and one specimen was exhibited in zoos across America. Yesterday's announcement explained why that particular Olingo never mated with other Olingo. Christopher Helgen, the scientist who finally differentiated the Olinguito from the Olingo, noticed a lot of differences in the teeth configuration and fur color and thickness. Although these differences among specimens have existed for over 100 years, Helgen was the first to note that these were variances between species, not just genetic differences. In fact, Olingos and Olinguitos share less DNA than humans and chimpanzees. Alright Nathan, so I published my video late, which does warrant a punishment. Nathan has given me the task of reciting a complete synopsis of Disney's Beauty and the Beast in just 60 seconds. It's true, it is one of my favorite movies. In fact, as a kid, I used to watch it multiple times a day. Oh wow, just 60 seconds Nathan? This is gonna be difficult. But I think I'm up for the challenge. To save myself a little time, I'm going to use these. These signs to denote which setting we're in, either the castle or Bell's town, because the plot jumps back and forth pretty frequently. Also, just to give you a quick list of characters so it's a little less confusing and I don't have to explain them so much, there's the beast, Bell, Bell's dad who's an inventor. Gaston, who is Belle's creeper, and Philippe, Belle's horse. Alright, here goes nothing. Na 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 na. Old hag says, here's flower, I can't have a place to stay. Boy friend says, go away. Ah, she's a sorceress and says, curse you, now you're a beast and all your servants are things. The curse is only lifted if you love someone and they love you back before the rose dies. Bonjour, bonjour. That Belle goes weird. Yeah, she reads books. Belle's father leaves with Philippe. Gaston tells Belle to marry him, but she's all like, ew, no, gross, you're a pig. I want so much more than this provincial life. Philippe's all nene and Belle's like, what, dad's trapped in the castle? Belle says, let my dad go, take me instead. Beast is like, okay. Beast servants are all she's hot, dude, she'll read the curse. Be our guest, be our guest. Beast says, stay out of the West Wing, so she goes to the West Wing. And he's all like, get the F out, and she bails. But oh no, there are bad wolves in the forest, and the beast saves her, and now they're friends. Belle's dad is all the beast has Belle, and everyone's like, you're crazy, and he's all like, fine, I'll save her myself. Dinner party, Beast is so into our tale. As old as time, they dance. Beast is like, I like you, this mirror shows you anything you want, and Belle's like, cool, show me my dad. I don't know, he's all cool in the forest, can I save him? Beast lets her go, because he's growing as a person, and he thinks he's never gonna see her again. Yeah, Belle's dad is okay. Oh no, Gaston is taking all the townspeople to kill the beast because he's jealous because Belle likes the beast. Fight scene, Tabrex versus Animorph castle items. Fight scene, Beast versus Gaston. Beast wins and lets him go. Belle came back, he loves her. Oh no, Gaston stabs the Beast and then he falls to his death, yay. But Beast is dying, the rose is dying, also sad. Belle cries, I love you. Magic streams of life. Beast turns human. Belle's all, hey sexy ginger prince. Kiss happily ever after. Nathan, we'll see you on Monday. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other videos at Nathan and Rose on YouTube. And kick the clitty. Ooh. Yeah, don't kick the clitty. And click the kitty to subscribe. Say hi.